All right, today is uh, day six of uh, the Vets um, Elite Daily Vlog. Um, and today I actually had a request of some uh, topic to discuss, and that's actually uh, training for like special forces, uh, tactical, um, you know, tactical um, occupations like, you know, police officers, state troopers, firefighters, uh, you know, army recruits, whatever it may be. Um, you know, from my guy Carl Zanker. There goes your shout out. Um, but, you know, I wanted to kind of give my insight on to what, you know, I would do for um, someone of that nature that like, you know, you, you basically I'll give my needs analysis for it, right? Like just like I would do for, you know, a football player, a basketball player, a uh, soccer player. Um, I'll kind of go over the things that I think are uh, essential to, I guess, you know, essential to success in training for an individual of that sort and, you know, kind of like how I would go about doing that. Um, so, you know, first, um, just, you know, like that occupation and kind of what you do, it's, it's almost like, like they're kind of like the jack of all trades fitness kind of people. And like, I don't want, um, the train of thought here to go to CrossFit because that's not what I'm talking about. And, you know, there's plenty of good that comes from CrossFit. Um, I'm not here to bash it, but the problem with CrossFit is that there's no, really rhyme or reason to the workouts it's just workouts schemes that are like insanely hard and you, you know you're, you're dictating to try to be as fit as possible to get through these workouts and that's a you know good but there's really no rhyme or reason or plan to where they come from it's more about the workout itself um instead of the training process itself you know what i mean so um uh the model that i kind of see um for somebody looking for that tactical strength kind of program kind of has a little bit of everything. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's going to be some, um, you know, aerobic work. There's going to be some heavy strength work, um, more strongman esque esque in my opinion. Um, there's going to be some power work and I'm not talking Olympic list. I'm not talking, um, you know, speed dynamic spots, unless that's something that, you know, maybe this, you know, tactical strength, a uh, professional has a lifting background and they want to do that stuff, fine. But I'm talking for somebody who's just trying to, you know, get better and, um, you know, get in better shape to be able to be, be a better professional at their job. Um, that's what I'm talking about. So what I'm saying is like, you know, like, um, you want to hit, you know, some sort of aerobic capacity, you need to have some sort of lactic, lactic capacity be, and you need to have like a good, you know, explosive type of capacity, not in the sense of like, you know, how fast is your 10 or how far can you broad jump? But, you know, in, in a, you know, in a high intense situation, can you lift, like, could you lift up a beam that's burning? You know what I mean? That's, or that's falling on somebody or could you, uh, you know, lift a car? Or so, you know what I mean? Like stuff like that, you know, um, stuff. Could you pick somebody up, throw them over your back and carry them down four flights of stairs? Um, could you, um, you know, throw some sort of object away that needs, you know what I mean? Like all these type of like, you know, high adrenaline situations where it's really unpredictable, um, but it's not really barbell related, like those kind of things. That's where the strong man type of stuff comes in for me. Um, I think that needs to be involved. So overall, like this program, I think would be a balance between like, you know, you'd get some steady state cardio work because like, not that like, you know, the aerobic spe system specifically is like going to enhance performance, but I just think that even mentally, like being able to work over a long period of time at a somewhat moderate intensity is important. Like, I mean, if you are, you know, if you're going Army, National Guard, Marine, um, you know, and you got to carry over a hundred pounds on your body everywhere you go. Well, you need a good aerobic base. Like, you know what I mean? You need to have that ability to just sustain load over time. So, um, that's something I'm going to implement. Um, I do think that certain types of like heavy lifting, um, you know, are beneficial. Um, I think, you know, being able to squat properly with load is beneficial. I think being able to pick up weight, is beneficial. Um, the way and manner that it would be done would be at a faster pace because we're not going for, you know, the competition sumo or competition, you know, conventional deadlift technique so that we get up, you know, we get all our bracing properly and we're just pulling as much weight. 
and that's it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, you, you need to pick something up and then you need to go do something else and then you need to go do something else. So, um, honestly, the best model that I would kind of use for that is a 30, 30 split model. And that's all mass one, mass two, Dr. Pat Davidson. Um, so basically, you know, you have a, you in, in his list of exercises is like super basic and that's good because, you know, his program is directed at putting on mass. But I think with how, how unfit the general population is like, and even myself, like when we're talking about fitness, like, you know, like my fitness is probably not where I would want it to be where I could benefit, like truly, you know, benefit. I'm, I'm working on that. Like, you know, I mean? it's not like I'm ignoring that, but I think just in general, so that that general fitness is not good. It's not, it's not there. So like this program at, you know, for a beginner, like just trying to get through basic would be perfect because you get to, you know, gain strength through load as well as gaining fitness adaptations as well. When it comes to working over a long period of time, picking up, you know, different movements that are loaded and also like having to fight through that like lactic type system um, and those lactic abilities that come, you know, the burning um, the muscle and, and I don't want to get into the physiology of it, but that's pretty much what I'm talking about. So, you know, I think that the best split would be a, you know, you know, some sort of aerobic base work. Um, and, you know, you can even throw in body weight calisthenic type X type circuits on those days to enhance the intensity, just like I said, because that's an important aspect. Um, and included in those body weight calisthenics, loaded carries like Dan John, you know, one of his biggest things is the loaded carry is one of the best ways to build strength. And I agree, but I think it's one of the best ways to build like applicable strength, not, not functional strength, like applicable strength, like strength that you could use. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like you doing a farmer carry could apply to something you're doing in your profession, you know, something you need to do um, with what you're doing, you know, throwing on heavy weight vests and going through, you know, running them like going on a treadmill. Like, you know, or, or, you know, doing like sled work or stuff like that where you're the load is constant and you have to work. I think that's really important. So I would give, you know, maybe th uh, like every other day, you know, let's say we we're going to do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday split for the resistance training. And then Tuesday, Thursday, possibly Saturday, depending on, you know, how you can handle the training load. That would be your like steady state GPP day. Like that's really what it is. It's really like GPP, but you're building that conditioning because you we can match your heart rates. Like, you know, what heart rate we want you to be at during those GPP exercises to get it so that we're building an aerobic base through strength, general strength. That's what GP is, general physical preparation, okay? On those lifting days, now that's where, you know, we would get into things that are more specific, like a trap bar deadlift, um, you know, some sort of goblet squat, or some sort of squat variation that works for you, you know, some sort of unilateral. Now we can do some pressing, we do some pull-ups, we can do some dips. Um, we can even throw carries in here. Like if you're blessed to have stones, stones would be a great thing. If you're blessed to have a yoke, a yoke would be a great thing. Um, farmer carry, if you have, if you're blessed to have a wheelbarrow, that would be a great thing. So, and these is, and that's kind of something you can rotate, you know what I mean? But that's, that's something that would be 30, 30, type of split um, where you have 30 seconds to complete the work you have 30 seconds to rest and then you continuously go continues to go where you can build strength and I think at first for most people in this situation it's going to be neurological you know what I mean like those gains we know for like six months you're mostly getting neurological you're not getting morphological changes so you're not going to really see a huge bump in mass especially you know if you're not eating the right volume amount that you need to eat so that's kind of like very basic fundamentals on what I think about that. Um, obviously, as you progress farther, I think there's a lot more you can do, especially on that speed and explosive type of end with throws and jumps. Um, but for a really basic start, that's where I would go. If you're interested in actually like seeing what this looks like on paper, I know I kind of kind of struggled there to explain a little bit and it was a little confusing. So if you want something on paper and want to talk to me, you know, one-on-one -on -one and work out some sort of program deal, you let me know and I'll get you going on one. You know what I mean? We'll get something going um, and it'll be good. It'll work for you. And that's the thing. It's really dependent on the individual as always. And, and even the situation you're in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, you know, that's how you really build a program any for no matter what. So that's kind of where I'm at. Let me know what you think and uh, have a good night.